A company is considering new EMP opportunities globally and wants to evaluate the upcoming bid round in Brazil. The team first looks to the PEPS ratings for an overall picture of Brazil versus other countries globally. We can see that it ranks very high due to attractive scoring and past EMP success, fiscal terms, and above ground risk. Next, the team compares Brazil with other leading countries they are actively evaluating. We can see the divergence in the countries on past EMP success, with Brazil and Iran scoring highly on the 1 to 10 scale, and Mexico and Argentina scoring much lower. Also, we can see Iran's outlier status on fiscal terms with a low ranking of about 3. Next, the team takes a high-level look at how fiscal regimes compare. With the regime side-by-side -side and sortable, we can quickly pick out outliers in various types of terms. The team then takes a quick comparative look at projected IRR for the regimes across development scenarios. Finally, the team takes a high-level look at ENP activity over the past several years. They then look at performance over the past several years. The team starts their specific assessment of Brazil by taking a closer look at above-ground risk, ensuring they have a comprehensive understanding of the operating environment. They begin by examining the country's oil and gas risk commentary. This provides them with a detailed picture of the key risks investors face and the five-year outlook for change. It covers everything from the role of regulators in the NOC to the potential for labor unrest or export restrictions. Filtering to headline analysis and insight publications, the team sees analysis of several key recent upstream developments. Filtering to special reports, the team sees a recent publication of interest, a special report providing a case study of a recent investor experience that illustrates the potential obstacles that environmental licensing can pose. The team now moves to IHS Energy's analysis of activity and value creation in the country's key basins. They examine who is active in a basin of interest, understand what stage of development their presence is at, and what their likely future trajectory is. They gain insight into the economics of the basin, and they understand how activity in the basin is likely to unfold going forward. Trends and analysis documents provide insights into key developments, such as the technical, commercial, and strategic implications of critical wells being drilled. Next, to start their assessment of EMP prospectivity, the team uses Eden to examine historical exploration results, subsurface characteristics, and midstream infrastructure. To focus on opportunity areas, the team first displays bidding blocks. The team then displays basins on the map and then filters to Brazil they'd like more information on the Santos Basin. In the Basin Monitor report, they see comprehensive information on petroleum systems, plays, and tectonic history of the basin. There's also a comprehensive bibliography providing direction to further reading in detail. Having developed an understanding of the basin, they progress to look at fields of interest, Field reports provide detailed information, including commercial, ownership and development history, etc., operational, drilling and production, geological, reservoirs and reservoir properties, source, seal, and trapping mechanism. Within a couple of clicks, they've gotten into some great detail. They can also build reports and export information for use in other analytical environments. Now the team decides to look at one of the discovery wells associated with the field. The well report provides detail on drilling history, tops, tests, and objectives. Adding midstream layers provides the team a comprehensive view of transport infrastructure and export facilities enabling an early view on how difficult or easy it might be to bring production on stream. 
capacities are available also, offering the opportunity to assess spare capacity in many pipelines. Next, the team decides to get an overview of recent EMP developments in Brazil. The most recent Global Exploration and Production Service report provides a very comprehensive picture of EMP activity in the country, from past bid round summaries to exploratory drilling activity to production and reserves information. Detailed maps, diagram licensing, and bidding blocks and show operators. The latest articles section allows the team to look back through the most recent developments in the country and, going forward, to use IHS Energy's upstream intelligence monitoring to stay on top of developments on a daily basis. The team takes a look at farm-in opportunities in the country, which could be a viable alternative to participating in the bid round. Now the team does a deep dive analysis of the fiscal terms and regulatory costs they would face. Starting with fiscal terms to guide their own economic modeling, they look first at the summary analysis schematic representation of Brazil's fiscal terms and its detailed diagram of cash flows to the state and the investor. The team uses the detailed analysis report to take a closer look at the profit sharing component of fiscal terms. They find a comprehensive assessment and diagramming of the provisions. All of the analysis contains links to IHS's extensive library of laws and contracts. To see the underlying legislation from which the assessment is derived, the team clicks on the link to the government's model PSA contract. Having noted previously that environmental regulations can be a key obstacle in Brazil, the team finds the PEPS environmental terms report and shares it with their company's legal and environmental compliance staff. As the new ventures team begins its economic modeling for blocks of potential interest, it may want to look at how IHS Energy's experts have modeled existing assets in the area. Here we see modeled assets in the area at different development stages. We can take a look at assets of interest in detail. The team can see how IHS analysts have modeled the assets reserves and future production. They can also see how development and operating costs have been modeled. For more detail on the former, there is a full model of a development concept produced in IHS's Questor cost estimation tool. Finally, they can examine the full economic model created by IHS Energy and modify assumptions as desired. The team can also export the model in Excel and modify any aspect of it. The new ventures team now understands how Brazil compares with other EMP opportunities globally, the above ground risk and operating environment, the strategic picture of companies active in key basins and how value is being created. To inform their assessment of hydrocarbon production potential, they have looked at historical and recent EMP activity and success, basin and field information, development well data, and midstream infrastructure in place. They have looked in detail at fiscal and regulatory costs, assessing the fiscal terms and their cash flow modeling, and examining the regulation in key areas of concern, such as environmental and local content requirements. They have seen IHS's modeling of assets in the area, including reserves and production forecasts, operating and development costs, and they've brought this together in a full financial model. As next steps to further refine the inputs to their own economic modeling, the team's cost engineers may now use IHS's Questor cost estimation software to cost out alternative development concepts to consider, and the team's geoscientists may now undertake analysis of any seismic data available using IHS's Kingdom Geoscience software suite. And the workflow we have seen for Brazil is easily applied to any of the other announced or yet to be announced bid rounds going forward.